Greetings all. Today I want to talk to you about teeth. And the reason it's coming up to you today is because I had uh, six for six this happened already. <clears throat> so I feel like it's a sign. Maybe I should start talking about teeth a little bit more. And what was going on was I had a couple people write me that were having all sorts of issues. They went to the doctor, they did blood work, they did all of these things and everything turned out that they were fine. So they thought. Anytime they run down an array of issues, obviously I recommend them to detox and things, but then I asked them if they had fillings, fillings in their teeth. And all six of them said yes. I said, fillings are 50% mercury and 50% powdered heavy metals. That's just mashed together like a soup, jammed into your teeth, not secured properly and for the lifetime of the filling you have mercury vapor literally picture just steam being released from your teeth from those fillings being released into your body via your lungs every single day every moment of the day for the lifetime of the filling and these can cause so much issues from neurological to circulation mentally emotionally physically so all six people over the course of three months, three to four months, took the fillings out of their mouth and started to feel a reversal of all the issues that they were having. And that's because the mercury fillings, it doesn't just remain in your teeth. Like I said, the vapor starts to seep into your bloodstream and it poisons you every single day. Child bothering me, but I'm gonna continue anyway. And the issue with the mercury is it concentrates not only in the teeth and the bloodstream, but it can concentrate in the kidneys because mercury is a diuretic. It concentrates in the liver and it can deactivate liver enzymes that are supposed to perform a multitude of functions metabolically. It also concentrates where? One of the worst places in the brain. One moment. It can concentrate by your pituitary gland. You have um, the anterior and the posterior, it's just two different sections of your pituitary gland that's responsible for hormone signaling and releasing certain chemicals so that your body can produce hormones and transmit them throughout your body. It's able to accumulate in this area because it's able to cross the blood brain barrier. Heavy metals are able to cross that barrier in an ability and in effect to poison you poison your brain, which essentially is going to poison other areas of your body. So I took some notes that I want to share with you about mercury, uh, amount, the amalgam fillings. And I believe I did found one decent filling that you might be able to switch when you are ready to eradicate the fillings out of your teeth. And also if you're pregnant or you want to get pregnant, remember if you have amalgam fillings, they are able to cross the placenta and get into the fetus. So you would want to remove those prior to getting pregnant because of the damaging effects it can have on the baby. All right. Now, these things were created over 180 years ago, pre-Civil War trash. Do you remember a time when asbestos was deemed safe? They were using it all over buildings, even in movies, they were using it for snow and it's snowing right now. And I'm, as I'm making the video and they were using asbestos as snow in these old, old, old videos. And then years later come to find out, oh, this thing is highly poisonous and can give you lung cancer amongst all other things. Now the mercury, like I said, is 50% liquid mercury and 50% powdered heavy metal garbage that you would want to do a, uh, savage heavy metal detox to purge out of your body because mercury can bind tightly to your nerves and the fats so it's readily absorbed into your brain and the nerve endings which is why it can disrupt a lot of functioning with your neurotransmitter and interfering with your hormones it can collect in the heart muscle and the valves which means increase in cholesterol and heart attacks it can also cause red blood cells to rupture and replace the iron in the hemoglobin so that oxygen, the oxygen capacity is lowered. If you don't have iron, your ability to breathe comfortably is diminished drastically. So remember those amalgam teeth fillings, that, those vapors, 
you can't just look at things for face value. All of these things are so tiny. The, the atoms that they are that you can't see with the human eye, they all are able to do something once they're inside of our body, like disrupt the hormone production, block receptors, which allow the hormones to send messages to different organs. So that's something you want to be aware of. <clears throat> if you're dealing with eczema or psoriasis, it is a blood issue that you would have to do some type of detoxing for, but eczema and psoriasis could be the body's way of rejecting heavy metals as well. Mercury now with the eyeballs. I used to have terrible floaters. I still have some, but mercury has the ability to collect within the eyeballs leading to the appearance of floaters but also affects the muscle controlling focusing of the eyes and lenses so if you have floaters you should look into if whether you have fillings or if you consume a lot of mercury laden foods yeah and that's then it is also going to increase your risk for autoimmune diseases because of the way the mercury binds to the surface of the cell leading the immune system to identify them as foreign. So that's when your body starts to attack you because it doesn't know that it's you. All right. <sighs> yeah, and mercury toxicity causes a reduction in the number of natural killer cells. Those are the cells responsible for policing tumors and viruses leading to the development of chronic viral infections or cancer. Mercury can reduce the number of NK natural killer cells. You understand? And as far as mercury in fish, because I know that's going to end up being a topic, the mercury in fish is still toxic. It's just not toxic to fish because fish have the right enzyme to methylate mercury. This probably doesn't sound like English, and I have to figure out a way to break it down too for it to sound like English. But they can essentially the fish can remethylate mercury and move it out of their brain this is something that humans cannot do they can move it out of their brain and other organs that's why fish can remain healthy with so much mercury in their body and we can't we don't have the ability to do that we don't have that functionality in our body so that's why it is toxic for us and remember the bigger the fish the more mercury that it contains so if you are a heavy tuna fish eater gotta go First of all, the, the tuna is just filled with mercury, and then they put it in an aluminum container. Hello. Now, like I said, mercury concentrates in the liver, blocks a myriad, myriad of enzyme functions, and also to help with remineralizing the teeth, because now we're called, talking about all the problems. How are we gonna fix the teeth? How are we gonna get the calcium and phosphorus back in the teeth? Because those are two of the most essential minerals that we need to get the teeth back looking on point. This is not an aesthetics thing. Every single organ in your body correlates to a tooth in your mouth. Every organ correlates to a tooth in your mouth and that's the reason why each of the teeth have nerve endings attached to them. So if somebody was to say like, oh, this tooth is hurting me. If I have my tooth organ chart, I'm able to say, you know what, let's not just look at it as a tooth thing. Let's see what organ correlates with that tooth and see if there's something there. Now, to remineralize the teeth, like I said, you need calcium and phosphorus. Don't go run out and buy some inorganic garbage. Don't do that. You need to get it from natural supplements. You can get it from your foods like kale, dandelion, things like that are very high in calcium and phosphorus. Um, obviously, if you can find a plant-based supplement also that has it, calcium, and you want to balance it with magnesium as well. But while doing that, you have to come off of the grains. You need a grain detoxification because grains have chemicals pre present in them that are called phytic acid. And the thing that this phytic acid is able to do is just yap minerals right out of your body. So let's say you take in all of these different supplements, you're taking the supplements, but then you have in pasta, bread, cereal, excessive oatmeal, all these, and then a lot of beans. Beans also carry a lot of phytic acid. You will have to go on a grain bean, bean detoxification for approximately three to four weeks to start to see a difference in the strength and the look of your teeth because you can remineralize your teeth. There were societies 5,000 years old 
that had all their teeth, no cavities. Do you know what our problem is? Sugar. We have too much sugar in our diet. And don't look at sugar as just white sugar and brown sugar that you scoop into your tea or scoop into your coffee. That's not what it is. The sugar is also in the foods. It's in the breads, it's in the pasta, it's in all of these different things that by the time they break down into your blood cell and go into your bloodstream, now your blood sugar level is up. That is what you have to be careful of where you don't actually see the sugar, not the sugar right in front of you. So yeah, we have better sources of sugar like date sugar and agave. But if you're trying to remineralize your teeth, just try to stay away from all of that. Stay away from all of it and focus on having a diet that's primary in fruits, vegetables. Once you take out your fillings, obviously, once you take out your fillings. And you're going to do that when you find a holistic dentist. I don't know des dentists that are not holistic that would be able to take it out. Now, when you get your holistic dentist, they're going to give you a couple of different options. And one of the options might be to fill it with nickel. That is also toxic. Another option is going to be gold. Gold is too soft. Another option is that, that I know that they offered a few of people that I've spoke to is porcelain. But the problem with porcelain, unless there's a different one, the porcelain that I research contains aluminum. That's another problem. The only one that I found so far, and anyone can add in any more of their information if they haven't, is the low fusing ceramic resin hybrid. Apparently the ceramic is the safest one that I'm seeing because all the other materials that we use for fill-ins, they're not the best. They all end up seeping into our bloodstream. Because like I said, we have a whole entire blood system that's right under our tongues, under our gums, under our teeth. So we have to do a grain detoxification because diets high in phytic acid and lectins will demineralize the teeth. Lectins are molecules that have the ability to permeate your small intestine, which means that you won't be able to absorb nutrients because the phytic acid and the lectins are poking holes inside of your intestines, which means all of the waste is going to leak out from your intestines into your bloodstream and start causing havoc. All right, each tooth has a blood supply and nerve that travels through the center of the tooth into the jawline via the uh, mandibular nerve. That's why you can always feel when you have a toothache. Let's see if we have anything else to share with you. We gotta get these teeth right. And shout out to Destination Happiness for my sweater real quick, all right? Well, I'll talk to you about these teeth. <clears throat> I love this sweater. It just makes me feel happy by wearing it. Destination Happiness. Dope, dope, dope company. All right, another thing I wanna share with you that phytic acid and lectins are able to do is pull the iron out of your body. So if you're suffering with anemia or iron deficiency, one of the iron binding effects of phytic acid from grains and beans could be the issue. It's not always that we need to be taking iron, taking this, taking that. Maybe we need to take things out of our diet so the iron can remain inside of our bloodstream. If you have a high a diet high in grains, and I'm talking rice, white rice, brown rice. Um, what else do we have here? Any type of any type of grain doesn't even matter to me. The safest grains that I found were quinoa because it doesn't 100% fall into the grain character uh, category. I believe amaranth was pretty safe and fonio. But while attempting to remineralize your teeth and create strong teeth, you want to make sure that you stay away from. Just do all grains, it'll make it easier. Make sure you have an all natural toothpaste, okay? Because a lot of these toothpaste, if you can't under understand the ingredients, I'm not gonna be able to understand it either, okay? I don't wanna get another degree to understand what's in your toothpaste, just get rid of it. I am in the process of creating a toothpaste that has sea moss, neem, and chew stick for high frequency. It'll be available on other platforms too. And that's going to be 100% all natural. You will be able to read all the ingredients and it's going to naturally whiten your teeth. And let me say clean the teeth because teeth in its natural state are not white. Anyone that has had a kid and when they lose the first set of teeth, the second one grows in, it does not grow in white. And Dr. Africa always told me this, teeth are not white. Teeth are off white. They're a little closer to yellow than white. So stop killing your teeth to try to make them white. All you're doing is demineralizing them more by putting all of these things all these chemicals, it just softens up your teeth and make them extremely brittle. Because I've tried to whiten my teeth. I didn't last two days with the liquid that was inside of the filling. So let's start off with that. Grain-free diet, clean your blood, gallon of water a day. You could do the heavy metal detox. 
This detox is pretty dope because it doesn't taste like anything and you could drink this every single day. You start with a teaspoon a day. I'll post the link below. And let's get these teeth right for 2021. Let's get these teeth right, all right?